Alice, what's the mood there at the end of the Metropolitan Line? Hello there. Well, I have to say, I've been here since the crack of dawn, and there's only one topic that is on everybody's lips, and that is Boris Johnson. And I have to say, I think the tide may be turning against him in his constituency, because I've been here a number of times over the last few months. I came here to get people's reaction to Partygate, to when there was a vote of no confidence in him. And there was always a degree of loyalty from a number of people I spoke to. But I do think that may be changing, that actually people are still loyal to the Conservatives here. This is a very, very safe Tory seat ever since it was first created. But I think there is a feeling for many of the people I was speaking to that maybe uh, to echo Sajid Javid's comments that enough is enough. This is what some of the people had to say when I spoke to them this morning. I do think that he needs to be held accountable for what he's done, uh, the actions he took, and I think we need a new leader. Well, I think he should stay because he's done a terrific job, you know, getting this Brexit through Covid. The time's to go, you can't defend the indefensible. And that was some of the people in Uxbridge speaking to me earlier today. And I think it's important to say, no matter what happens with uh, Boris Johnson, he still would remain as the MP for Uxbridge and Ryslip. But the real question is that even if he's able to cling on, what would happen in two years' time with this general election? And I have to say, if you'd asked me when I'd come here a few months ago, I wouldn't be uh, so clear. But after speaking to some people, I think that his future is certainly uncertain in his constituency.